In this video we're going to take a more in-depth look at control in particle and particularly at note on control. I'm going to start in the same way as the previous video. So we'll load up a fixed pattern template from the nautical seed pack and I'll just edit that so that we have a rhythmic uh, pattern just giving us a random one bar note. Set it to loop and there we go again. Going into particle, I'm going to set the uh, polyphony to uh, 8 this time. And to save time, I'm just going to load a preset, uh, which is based on the uh, patch from the previous tutorial. It's twin oscillators into a filter. Before we start, I just need to adjust this oscillator slightly. Uh, the oscillators in particle don't run free, so if you want to extend them after the note off, you need to uh, add some release time. So I need to do that to both of them. Raise the attack level to 100% and set the release to as long as you want it to be. Okay, now we're set. Now last time we looked at the uh, filter and we used the uh, auto sweep feature. So you set that by setting the cutoff, the rate and the range of the sweep, and there it goes. Which is okay, but um, it just cycles like that. It's not a particularly um, musically related effect. So, to make a filter sweep happen to coincide with note-on events, we um, need to uh, be more focused in our control, and that's going to require using an envelope. So we go down and look for a control envelope and let's just put that in front of the filter in the normal way and link it up to the cutoff of the filter. Give it a slow attack so we can hear it. And there you can probably just about hear the cutoff rising with every note on. We can increase the scale but it's still not a very big effect here. The uh, amplitude of the envelopes isn't very great. Um, but that's not a problem because this is a modular synth so we can increase the amplitude by amplifying the signal with a control amplifier. I just stick that in front of the envelope and alter the routing so the envelope goes through the amplifier and the amplifier goes to the cutoff and there you can start to hear the effect and if you up the gain of the amplifier you'll hear it even more there we go and that's much better to do something about that release stage so back into the envelope lift the attack level and the post attack level sorry and then the release I'm going to take this sustain level up to match the post attack level as well so it's a smooth transition and there you have a nice filter sweep on every note on And that's the sound starting to take shape. One of the little tricks that you can do to make the filter sound a bit more exciting is to overdrive it, um, pretty much like you would do with an analog synth, except here obviously you can't feed the filter back on itself, so we have to use an overdrive unit. 
If you put an overdrive in front of the filter, hopefully you can probably hear that we've got a better quality sound out of the filter just by overdriving it a little. No overdrive? And it sort of warms the filter up a little bit. Hope you can hear that effect through the compression on YouTube. Anyway, the other thing we can do to thicken the sound is of course detune one of the oscillators again. And that's starting to sound very pleasant now. And then we can sweeten this sound up a bit more by adding chorus in the same way as we did in the other tutorial. not a bad basic monosynth sound. Show you a quick trick in Nautical. If we go back into Nautical and select chords and just up the chord depth to 2 and the range to 1 so that will give us a possibility of dyads and triads. We've now got a really nice chordal pad. can do is take this voice and copy it to another cell and then go into the roots and rules and just take it up an octave plus a fifth let it harmonize with the bottom one Play with the panning, perhaps. Sweeten it with some reverb. And you've got a really nice chordal pad, wide ranging. So that's um, note on control in particle. If you want an in depth look at the file I've made here, I'll uh, post it on the Mixtical site. Thank you. 